Hey everyone, Anarch here. So, um, Anarchopill asks, how would you briefly explain anarchism to someone who isn't really into politics in general? Um, well, first I would avoid using jargon. Um, that is not, that's not to say you don't use any technical terms. Uh, sometimes using a technical term can be an opportunity to have a discussion. Uh, you just want to be smart with what technical terms that you use. Um, in a general sense, you want to relate those technical terms to things that people are more familiar with. Um, for example, uh, uh, when somebody uh, with kind of like maybe an average political education asks me what anarchism is, I might say something like, anarchism is the opposition to all hierarchical power structures. So they're probably not going to know exactly what I mean by a hierarchical power structure, but they will probably get kind of a gist uh, of what that might mean. Um, they kind of have an idea of what a hierarchy is. Um, they might have some sort of vague notion about what they think a power structure might be. Um, and, you know, they can, they can easily process what opposition to that might mean. Uh, to some degree, they're going to fill in a lot of blanks, and they might get some of it wrong, but that is an opportunity for a discussion. Um, sometimes people will ask a much more challenging question, which is like, what sort of society do anarchists want to put in place? In which case, it's going to be very difficult not to use any jargon whatsoever, um, varying depending on what people's... Uh, uh, level of political education is, I would probably use more or less jargon, depending. Uh, but once again, it's going to be an opportunity for discussion, however you describe it. So don't expect them to just understand everything you're going to say. Uh, but if somebody were to ask me, you know, how will an anarchist society be organized, I might say something like a confederation of directly democratic council structures. So they're probably going to have at least some idea of what, you know, direct democracy is. Uh, they're going to have some idea of what maybe like a council might be. And uh, they'll probably have some confusion with the word confederation. But all of these are going to be an opportunity for discussion. Uh, after you have set that ground uh, to the discussion, as you keep returning to those notions, you'll sort of solidify them. Uh, you know, you're going to find that they probably will have specific questions, which will be, you know, varying degrees of difficult to answer. Some of them will be very easy to answer. Some of them will be more challenging. Um, but yeah, I, I keep things short. Uh, uh, it, you're never going to be able to describe a, an entire ideology in an extremely short statement. It is necessarily going to have to truncate the ideas so don't be afraid of doing so. Um, you're not going to give them a complete definition. You're going to give them a summary which allows you to have a discussion and uh, which allows them to at least have a beginning operational definition. Uh, that's the real key. So yeah, uh, I think that's, that's really the, uh, the right way to approach it. Something like uh, the opposition to all hierarchical power structures. If you wanted to go further, you could say something like um, anarchism wishes to establish um, horizontal power structures wherein the people are empowered instead of a ruling class. Um, this might be a good way to start having a discussion about what anarchists actually want to put in place. Um, gives you an opportunity to discuss, discuss the constructive aspect of anarchism, uh, whereas opposition is more the destructive uh, aspect of anarchism, which may often uh, appear to people to be uh, sort of a negative or nihilistic vision, uh, or, or maybe uh, uh, something that is unrealistic. Whereas if you were to focus more on establishing horizontal power structures, uh, this might be more appealing to them. Of course, what you need to do ultimately is convey both, and that's the challenge. Um, but of course, your context is going to matter. Uh, how you describe each of these things will be contextual, depending upon the person. Um, but I would say don't use very complex jargon. Use jargon people might be familiar with, but only in passing. And use it as an opportunity to discuss, not as a way to exhaustively describe every last little detail.